Grayson, the just what, what was it like to see kind of the, the fans waiting for you um, at the airport last night? It was awesome to have the fans there waiting. Um, they've they've been incredible all year long, but that kind of support. I don't know what time we got back, but it was definitely early morning, like <laughs> one a.m. But uh, uh, it's just amazing to have that kind of support and to, to know that you have the city of Salt Lake and the state of Utah behind you. You look back at, at the season. Are, are there moments that are going to stand out to you like right away, whether it's that 40-point game or? Yeah, definitely. Um, right now it's been, it feels like it's been such a long kind of season and, and journey from, you know, getting drafted to now. But um I think when I look back, I'll kind of see how quick it's gone by and then kind of look at some of the moments like, you know, the career high at the end of the regular season or getting a start earlier in the season, just moments like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, when, when you do get out there and you are able to score 40 in an NBA mm-hmm. game, does it like, did it justify, not even justify, but like it kind of solidify in your mind like, yeah, I'm, I, can, I can do this? Uh, I think it well. It's for sure a confidence booster, and for me, for, I, forty points is the highest I've scored in any game at any level. So um, it was nice to kind of build that up to now. And uh, but it's kind of kind of confirmation of improvement throughout the year, and that's you know what I've tried to do with playing time going up and down and moving from the G League back up. You know, I want to to kind of know that I've improved and got better from the beginning of the year, and I have something to look back on now and see, okay, that's a lot better than where we're at to start the year. Yeah, I'm sure you heard stories about Quinn when you were coming here. How did mm-hmm. he sort of live up to expectation or? <laughs> um, well, I had everyone that I talked to about him told me he was an incredible coach and uh, that was definitely accurate. And for me to see that up close was pretty cool and to kind of get a little peek into how his basketball mind works. and. Um, all the all the strategy and different offenses and defensive schemes he comes up with it's incredible and um but i mean his uh i i feel like his mind never stops i feel like when you know he sleeps he's thinking about uh new plays or different ways to guard something on the other end and uh it's really cool to you know play under a guy like that and to to be able to learn from him just we're like right around the corner from from draft workout starting here again and you're just it probably seems pretty fresh in your mind. What do you what do you remember about yours and like you know? What, well, I guess what advice would you have for these guys coming in? I was uh, I was so nervous. I was nervous for for all my workouts. Um, but I think you know I kind of had in my mind that it was like okay you know I'm a, all I have to do is is play hard. You control that. You just come in and compete, and then you make shots or miss shots. That's that that doesn't matter as long as you come in and compete and you have a body of work behind you for them to look at and. Um, but, but man, I was nervous coming in, but I think that's normal. Did you make shots? I did make shots. <laughs> I made a few. So I had a good day. Um, just in, in terms of the, the summer, what's the general plan for you? Like, what are you trying to work on? You know, where do you think you'll be mostly type of thing? Uh, this summer I think is big. I think there's, I, I can't really pick one area, um, but I think a, a, a big importance for me going into next year is that just to have my body a hundred percent and incredible conditioning incredible shape um where i can come in from day one and and compete athletically defensively and offensively and the biggest growth for me this year was definitely on the defensive end um you know offensive end is about getting comfortable out there but uh, i think defensively i I built a lot of habits and a lot of good habits from learning this year and so it's important this summer to, to keep those and keep getting better at them and not to lose them. And then when I come in next year, you know, the, when you have those kind of habits, you can start to make more plays. And so the focus will definitely be on the defensive end. Um, you now you, you say that and you don't really see a lot of guys in their off-season workouts doing defensive slides. So uh, it'll, it'll definitely be something I'll incorporate. But defensively and then offensively, can, continuing to be a playmaker with and without the ball. What was Jay like as your vet? How did that relationship start, and what did he do for you this season? Uh, I mean, it started right away, and the, the crazy thing was Jay had actually texted me while I was still at Duke uh, like a couple years ago, and just like with his support that he was watching, that you know he liked my game, and 
and it was kind of out of nowhere. And then it was really cool that I ended up getting drafted here. And, you know, he already had my number to text me draft night after I got drafted. And so we had a little bit of a relationship before, but not much. And, and then here getting to know him and uh, getting to, you know, work with him every day, learn from him, getting called Rook every day was, uh, was, uh, was cool. And, uh, He's, uh, he just tells you like it is, he doesn't care. And so he was always straightforward and honest with me all year. Um, you know, he gave great advice. He, he gave some funny advice, like sleep at night and get your work in early, which kind of sounds kind of obvious, but um, it is, it's kind of something that I adopted this year.